Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the stock market. And today I'm going to talk about Frontier Development. So Development, that's a company from England. And you can see here right now on Steam, there's a big publisher sale going on. So therefore, uh, when I saw this, I, I thought like, yes, is this not also a publicly traded company? Is this not also a company you can buy a stock in? And then I was wondering, oh, which country is this company actually from? Is it from France? Is it from Poland? Is it from Sweden? So, hey, I really have to check uh, to look this up. And I did, my friends, and I did check it up and look it up. And here we are, that's now the Wikipedia page, but that's uh, just to, to have it a little bit easier. So Frontier Development is a British video game developers based in Cambridge Science Park in Cambridge, England. So founded by David Braben in January 1994. So it's a pretty old company. It has produced several games in the Elite series, including Elite Dangerous. So second studio Frontier Developments was opened in Halifax in Canada in 2012, headed by David Walsh and closed in January 2015. So in 2013, the company reincorporated as a public limited company and entered the stock market. So very interesting interesting guys you can invest in this company so th those are the games that they have developed so already a couple of interesting games so new games coming out jurassic world evolution is already out formula one manager 22 i think is coming out and then we have an unnamed uh, warmer age of sigma strategy game that is coming out so but i think uh, on actually on steam you can already uh, see it so let's 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 show you what you all want to see Let's look at the stock price. So my friends, this is the stock price traded in the London Stock Exchange. Whew. It's very difficult to, 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 to try to understand this price. So this is the British pound here on the side. So in, in Great Britain, you mostly uh, or you trade uh, tr trade stocks um, in much higher, uh, much higher prices. Um, uh, like uh, totally the difference actually to, to Hong Kong where you trade them in, in like penny stocks and then in the in the in the UK you trade them uh, much much higher uh, uh, packages let's put it like this so one stock is mostly more uh, uh, it's representing more valuation of the of the company so going public in 2013-14 so we we actually saw kind of a nice uh, nice price jump here when I look at this hundred up to 290 to 300 pounds and this was the then from the uh, yeah from 2014 we were kind of kind of falling back at 270 pounds and then in 2016 a new jump very interesting to uh 316 pounds and then and then it went crazy from 2017 on it went crazy up to 1860 pounds so is this real is this real or is this a reverse stock split so i'm going to check this and then uh, yeah then we were at the top and then probably most of the traders were selling the stock and what happened uh, it was uh, <laughs> dropping back to 716 pounds so from 1900 around about to 716 15 pounds and then from 750 pounds my friends then it uh, it found the the, the button there and and it went slowly up again and then what happened of course then the pandemic happened and all the video game stocks the growth stocks were getting punished like crazy uh, and uh yeah and the, the growth stocks actually then in the pandemic uh, were also then going up like a rocket ship like a rocket to the moon to the moon my friends so from 900 pounds up to 300 3500 pounds on the top and uh, what happens in, in in times like this now let's scroll in from 3500 pounds we slowly came back to a bit more normality i would say it seems also that we found found some sort of a bottom here a thousand uh, thousand uh, one hundred uh, pounds so and uh, from there we already went up 20 around about uh, 15 20 percent so so looks interesting actually to invest in so you can everything that happened in the pandemic you can just uh, delete it it never happened so it's out of the game the most growth stocks look look like this so it's not only this stock most growth stock look like this 
So yeah, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a retail YouTuber. And uh, this is just my opinion for educational purposes. Don't buy, sell anything I talk about here. And uh, yeah, what would I else say? Um, I'm not invested in this company. So is this a company I would invest in? I there's one thing I don't like. I don't want to buy now for 1,300 pounds this stock. I would uh, buy uh, in much more smaller parts the stock. So that's that's a bit my philosophy. But looking at the mere chart, I like this. So I really like this looking at the chart. So what is Frontier Development working on in March? Announced they had signed an agreement with Formula One to develop and release several management simulation games. That's interesting. So they're coming more. So is Frontier a triple a development why work in programming at our great teams now very difficult written so let, let's go on their home page so home page is fine we see of course immediately their games so they make the formula one manager games they have the jurassic park world i like the jurassic park world game i like pan 2 games i also i kind of like elite dangerous it's for vr it's kind of fun so and uh yeah, so the idea of their games, I definitely, I definitely enjoy. I think that's that's pretty cool. So our games, yeah, breaking groundbreaking games is maybe a bit too pushy. So what, what are they doing here? What is this scream scream ride? Never heard about this. So scream ride, ah, that's only for the, for the Xbox. Lost Lost Winds is for PC, Apple. Disneyland's Adventures, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Lost Winds, Wallace and Cromit in Project, the Zoo, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Dog's Life, that's an old game, Infestation. So here some of the old games. So also you see where they're coming from. And Elite Dangerous. So overall I would say yeah, it works out with them. I mean their games are their games are popular. I mean we can't click on Jurassic Park World. So you see very positive very positive rated 8000 uh, over 8000 uh, uh, different uh, uh, reviews so if we click on planet zoo we see also very positively rated 46000 reviews so hmm, not bad guys really not bad i would say so definitely interesting so then uh, we already had uh, had the wikipedia page so then i would say let's click on the investors page because that's always a where you can see some more information so interim report and accounts so we could download now the report and then we can uh, look a little bit more into this so yeah who finance we can also check actually we see more numbers there here we go so so half year revenue up to 33 percent well positioned for an exciting 2022 they say here I'm not going to go all in the details. This is just an introduction video to this uh, for this company. But if you're interested, my friend, so give me a, give me a thumbs up and a like and give, give me a comment if you want me to go a little bit more into detail of Frontier Development that I also go a little bit more in the numbers, then uh, please, uh, please tell me. So this uh, would be interesting. Then I can work myself uh, much more into this. So David Brain, the chief executive officer says here, we have had an unprecedented couple of years because of coronavirus and the resulting changes, both positive and negative. We have seen increased sales and changes to purchasing patterns, the acceleration of the transition towards interactive entertainment and digital purchasing and changes to productions that embrace home working. Although coronavirus challenges remain, we believe we now have sound production processes that work in the new hybrid world as demonstrated by the on time and high quality delivery of the excellent and Jurassic World Evolution 2. So they developed this game during the difficult pandemic times, but all the other developers also did this. And this sets us up for future success. Our team has done a fantastic job adapting to all these challenges and finding new ways of working. We have the potential for much greater growth in the next few years as we re reap the benefits of all the hard work we have done. Blah, 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 blah. So. I want to see something interesting here. We work done, adapt, capitalize portfolio, existing games together with exciting new franchises such as Formula One management games and our warmest age of Sigma real-time strategy. We are well set up with a great portfolio for an exciting future. A lot of companies develop Warhammer games, by the way. So 
Warhammer Age of Sigma IP real-time strategy game planned for release during calendar 23 will now release later in that calendar year, falling in, uh, in the calendar 24. This change will further improve the quality and longevity of the game and will make it more successful. As a result of this scheduling adjustment, the board have revised the revenue guidance. Oh, 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 oh. 230 million to 160 million, implying 80% to 45% percent annual growth from the midpoint of uh, 22 guidance we have excellent prospects for st sustainable growth uh, long-term growth based on the longevity of our existing portfolio <sighs> very nice words i mean nice words so i would go a little bit more in detail in another video so i don't want to prolong this video too much but here what we see earnings per Earnings per share 35, PE ratio 38, quite high, quite high even for a, a, a for a growth company. What uh, what do we see with the analyst price targets? Average 1,800, currently 1,300, 745 full-time employees, strong buy. So not a lot, lot of recommendation trends. So earnings here, I see always positive revenue, revenue of course positive, but earnings positive are like this. So in direct comparison, you have Team 70, also a British gaming studio. I'm going to cover also in another video. Yes, I would say, I mean, look, look guys, I talked a bit about the, about the games. I talked about some numbers, uh, but the, the question is here, here you see what, how important it is to invest in the right moment. So if you invested now in Frontier Developments, a game that really comes a long, long way, to be honest. If you invested now in 2200 and you've seen it like halving, it's like half price out, 50% down, then you ask yourself, oh my God, this was a failure. This was a bad investment. Then it's not helping you that uh, an analyst price target is at 1,800. So you have to average down normally that it makes sense for you. But if you bought already, let's say, uh, five, four, four, four shares of, of this stock, that, which is actually for, for the, the, the mere share price is very high, then yeah, then, then you definitely have a problem now. Uh, prob depends on the size of your portfolio, but, but, uh, I mean, I would say, I would say now is an interesting moment. So now is an interesting moment where I would even consider getting in. So I'm looking a bit more into detail of this. I'm also going to check out uh, what my broker is offering me here. And then I will see if actually I buy uh, some, uh, some, maybe some parts of a share. So not buying a full share then on this, because uh, to be honest, to be honest, so looking at the games, I like the games. I see the games are good. And I also see that they exist already since quite some time and they, they really pulled it off also before the pandemic crisis. So they're extremely volatile. But uh, if it's an interesting point for me to invest, not for you, it's just for me, I talk for myself, then uh, it would be here. But I already have a lot of gaming stocks, as you know. So I also will make a video about, about all my gaming stocks I'm invested in. All right, guys. So with that, I would leave it here. So with those, uh, with this conclusion, and I uh, hope you uh, you got some information out of this video. Some, you got some inspiration. Uh, always make your own research. And if you did so, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. This is very important. It's a small channel. It's a new channel. I'm trying to to grow. I want to grow naturally naturally i don't want to grow uh, fake i want to grow in a nice sustainable way so that's my plan with this channel uh therefore no giveaways and anything here so i just want you if you like my content give me a sub if not uh, yeah no, don't sub it it's it's normal so i don't care i don't know about this thank you very much guys see you next time bye bye